Hey guys, check this out. This is a uh, was a napkin holder. I guess they have like in restaurants. I got it at a thrift store for three dollars. And uh, I thought, man, that'd be a cool thing for a vacuum tube, and it is. I was just able to just use the same connectors I use to make a base to set it in. And it just Sets in there, just put a reflector behind it. And uh, I just put a little handle here on the back so I can lift it up. And on the cover, I just had to cut me out like a, a little notch here. And it comes down. You can just lay it down. Looks really cool. Okay, and the actual tray thing I made right here it's a uh, I just use a piece this is a a piece of gutter guard that you put in front of your gutters to keep the leaves from coming you can buy a big wide piece it's about two foot long or more and it, it bends really easy and this is a piece of silicone I use from uh, some kind of cooking mold Oh, that's about it on this. Put that in there. Shut this. I just carry it outside. How freaking cool is that? Alright, check this one out. I, uh, I think this is cool. Looks like it should be in space, so I put it in space. Woo! But anyways, on the, uh, I use these. These are little grills that go on like computer fans, like the bigger computer fans, they have these little metal grills to, you know, so you don't stick nothing in there, your finger or nothing. But I just use that, and I use that gutter stuff for this, and I just put a wood handle and a little bit of a, this is silicone, this is like a baking, some kind of baking thing, I don't know, looks like a popsicle. But anyways, that's all I did for that one. That looks so cool, don't it? <laughs> It's 25 degrees out here. I thought I'd do a little test run. And, uh, let's see what we got. Uh, I'm gonna do this. There we go. Uh, I don't know if you can see it, but it's that's a 300. Almost 370 degrees. Wow, that's amazing. It's only been out here like an hour. We cooking some stuff with that. Okay, we're gonna try some cooking here. I got my potatoes. I'm gonna put that in a napkin holder one. And I wrote up some bacon. We'll try bacon. I'm gonna lay some on the top here. Let's see how it does. Who knows? I'm getting hungry already though. Yeah, I'll just wrap that up and we'll stick it down in the tubes. And here we go. I got a nice day today, some sun here. And I set them out here on the table. And we'll check on them in about an hour and see what happens. I ended up having to move them because I got all that I don't know, shades right there. So I just put them down here. You uh, know. Should have no shade here for a little bit, and we'll check them here in about a half hour. Hi, and welcome back to Cooking in the Snow with Rich. <laughs> Anyways, uh, it's been about an hour and a half, and I'm not sure like how long it was in the shadow of that tree though. But let's check them out and see what they do. I'd say they're about done. <sighs> Hot. Ouch. Ooh, that steaming too. The bacon will still need to stay a little while longer. Very cool. The potatoes are definitely done. So 
There they are. But the bacon, uh, I think I'm going to keep it out another half hour and see what it does. Okay, let's check this bacon. I'm tired of chasing the sun around the yard <laughs> with all that stuff. Take it out of there. Oh. Ouch. Okay, it cooled down now. So here it is. Here's the rose. Oh, I like that, the way it just hung together. Oh, it's crispy. Yeah. Mm. That's good. And the ones near the end didn't cook good yet. Didn't cook all the way or cook some. But I like bacon crispy. Anyways, thanks for watching.